better and better and better. And the plastic dip on the trim needs to be redone because as it started raining while I was doing it. But today we're going to put on the lower control arms and finish up that plastic dip. I've also got some down on the door that I need to finish too. We may even get to the wheels today. We may just do the backs today. I'm not sure yet. Um, well, let's see what we do. I really don't feel like having to move everything. And deck stands will not work very well on this patio. So, we're just plastic dipping. Let's go get the tape. And a plastic cup. A roll of masking paper. Three inch roll of tape. Inch roll of tape. And a razor blade. Let's get to masking. You won't be able to see this very well in the video. But I've got some overspray over here. And so what you do to get rid of plastic dip overspray is I'll use some non chlorinated brake cleaner and a microfiber rag. And then it comes right off. Just do not get the brake cleaner on your plastic dip that you're doing right now. Just only use it on a rag on your overspray. What I'm doing right here is I am leaving my window open to make for less stuff to mask off. Now, yes, that sounds very stupid, and it is, <laughs> but I'm doing it anyway. So, honestly, last time I did it, I had no problems with it. I just masked this off right here. Otherwise, it was fine. I'm probably also going to pop the hatch. Just for less to mask off. So, I'll be back. I love making friends. And we found a grasshopper. A really, really tiny grasshopper. Focus camera. There we go. What should we name him? I don't know. I'm thinking Jeffrey. I name everything Jeffrey. His name's Jeffrey. Result. Well, I think it looks much better. I just have to go and do the other side now. This is what the other side looks like. See? completely different. And the only reason why this is black is because this is an NOS piece, so it's not painted or anything. Like, it's one of the factory parts that they just didn't use. And I just ordered that because I was missing mine. So, let's get started on this side. Film the rest of that video. But, as you can see, I did uh, some tire lettering. All I used for that was just a paint marker. I'm going to go back over it with some clear coat and mask off everything and then clear it. But otherwise, you know, I think it looks really good. I still haven't done this side because I'm lazy and I didn't feel like masking it off. Still haven't done lower control arms. Those will probably be sometime next week because I'm going to take it over to my grandparents' shop so I got some more room. I just realized how quiet I've been lately, you know? <laughs> I'm sure that can't be very amusing for you guys. I worked on the Dodge a bit, or my dad did, I didn't. I was too busy over there with my letters. But cool things are coming with the Dodge. I might film it, I might not. We're actually going to spray the whole truck in a white bed liner. If you don't know what I'm talking about, uh, just look it up. Like, look up rhino lined trucks, and you'll see what I'm talking about. And we're doing the bottom here in black, 
and then just the rest of this in white. And then eventually we're going to build a bumper for it. We're ordering a grill for it. And hopefully lift kit and tires soon. Or not soon, but they'll come in time. Because right now I'm just using this for a pull truck. For the CRX. Mainly because it just matches. And my dad said I could use it. bit of a Nova update. Still not on the ground yet. Uh, we bought a differential from one of the guys that I used to race with and uh, he's gonna bring it over I think sometime next week. And we got the delay box mounted and the switch panel mounted. This is where the uh, start switch is gonna go. That's a voltage meter. He's got a digital voltage meter over here somewhere not sure where if I find it I'll show it to you guys in the next video because I'm like running out of space on my phone that and I think you guys like the shorter videos so let me know if you like the short videos or long videos better because my videos usually run about 12-15 minutes long this one should be around 7 I don't know well we'll see but yeah, this is going to be all for today. Blacktop out.